Welcome back to Sorry Rich Farm. I'm Jacob. Uh, so on today's agenda that we have going on is we're actually going to be building a drying rack. Now I know we talked about this in our kind of previous videos. Um, we just, you know, harvest our garlic and our other drying rack that we use is it's just like a Walmart plastic shelf and it's, it works perfectly fine. But this year, you know, we kind of ramped our garden up a little bit and our garlic almost pretty much took up all of that rack in a sense. I think we have maybe one shelf left. Uh, but we still have over 200 onion plants to pull and we, we planted, I think it was 10 pounds of potatoes. And so I don't know exactly how much we're gonna get, but we're gonna get a lot. So we need some drying racks and, or at least one. And I'm gonna be building this. Now, this is probably gonna be on the bigger side and I'm kind of wanting that. So the size, what we're gonna be doing is gonna be four foot wide eight foot long and six foot tall. And I'm gonna be doing five racks, five shelves, okay? And they're gonna be a foot apart. And I think that's plenty of room for drying and everything like that. And the reason I'm going so kind of big with it is because I want this rack to be a growing rack. And when I say that, I mean, I hope we don't use it all up this year because it could give us room to grow later. If we wanna do more potatoes, because we're thinking about doing more potatoes next year. So I want this to be something that we can use for multiple years and I don't have to keep building something, you know, to dry everything on because we're kind of ramping our crops up a little more. So building a little bit bigger now and for the future, we can kind of grow into it if need be. And when we're not using it, we can probably just use it as like a shelving unit for whatever uh, we're gonna be using. But that's kind of the reason why we're kind of doing it so big is just to grow into it. But what we're gonna do, you doing, we're gonna be building them out of two by twos or you know one and a half by one and a half uh, you know dimensional lumber and we're actually going to be ripping them from a two by twelve and we did this on our chicken tractor if you saw that video this is how we did it with the uh to get the two by twos is we ripped them ourselves. you can actually save money by doing that instead of us going out and buying two by twos uh it, it we actually save money ripping them ourselves it's not always like that it just kind of depends on the lumber you're getting and what size you're getting and ripping them but usually it's always uh cheaper if you rip it yourself so that's what we're going to be doing right now is uh ripping these i think i got three of them i don't think i'm gonna need all three of them but we're definitely gonna do two and start building and see where we're at So we got them all uh, cut up. Now what I'm doing right now is I'm cutting kind of the end pieces. They're the shorter pieces. They're the kind of the four foot. Now I am having to take three inches off. This, these aren't gonna be, you know, four foot boards because of on the ends are where, where I'm gonna connect them. And those are an inch and a half, inch and a half, that equals three. And so if I wanted to be completely four foot from end to end, that's what I gotta do. If not, I'm gonna be off three uh, inches. So that's what I'm doing right now, cutting the end pieces, and then should be able to start uh, kind of making the uh, shelf. All right, so I got one of the shelves, kind of just the framing done, as you can see right here. 
Uh, it came out perfectly squared like I was hoping it would. But we're just going with three. We got one in the middle. I was debating about one in the middle, uh, but since how it's so long and kind of wide, I wanted one in the middle to give it just more support uh, with the wire. Probably wouldn't need it, but just to be safe, you know, you start packing on a lot of, you know, potatoes and just whatever else we're gonna be drying on here. It's probably gonna be a decent amount of weight, especially if we ever do fill this thing all the way up. So I just wanna give it some good, decent support. But I, I'm gonna build uh, four more of these and then I'm gonna lay down the wire, uh, tack down the wire, and then on the sides, I'm gonna have the three stands, and I'll show you this, but they're gonna be, those are gonna be made out of two by fours. Cause I just want a good sturdy, uh, uh, you know, upright post kind of for that. We got the uh, five shelvings done uh, with Alex's help. We got it, it was very easy. Um, now we're gonna be putting the wire on. And like we said before, the reason why I did four foot is because it's a lot easier for this wire that we, this spool of wire, it's four foot. So we're literally just gonna tack it down, roll it, and it'll be, a, that makes it a lot easier. But one thing is, is I thought this roll was a little bit bigger than what it was. But when I looked at it, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get five shelves out of this roll. Um, just looking at it, maybe three, I'm not sure. It's definitely not gonna be five. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna do it. So we'll just do what we can on here, but later when we get some more wiring, we'll put the other shelves on. It's not gonna be that hard the way we're making this. It's just literally gonna slide on. And it'll be very easy. So I'm, I'm hoping we can get at least three and that should help us with our onions and you know probably our potatoes and stuff but well, let's get on to this I thought that thing was going to last forever So we got three of the shelves right now done with you know the wire and everything. Uh, we, this is the next day. Uh, so we're just finishing up right now, just doing some minor stuff. But one thing I wanted to kind of show y'all what we're doing is we're doing these little strippings of the cedar that we milled. I think it was like those two by twos that we milled up in a previous video. Well, we're stripping them down into half inch and this is like, you know, one and a half. And what we're doing is we're putting them over the top of the wire. And I like doing this just because it kind of locks the wire in. Sometimes these staples can bust the wire and then you may have an issue later. And another thing is, and leave it down in the comments if y'all think the same thing that I'm thinking. Since this is, you know, that cedar and it repels bugs, we really wanted to make this out of cedar, but you know, just milling the stuff, it just wasn't gonna work out. So we we're gonna pretty much lay this over the top 
and I might with other scrap pieces I'll probably do the pretty much outline everything just later down the road when we get scrap pieces to do it because I really when I start putting this top piece on I really like the look of it and if I could get kind of the whole thing to look like that I think it would look pretty cool and do you think that the uh, bugs I think this will be almost like a natural repellent of the bugs and I know cedar does that and that's one of the reasons why I kind of wanted to do this is because we're gonna be having produce on there and you know I don't want you know bugs to come around and things like that so having this cedar around I think will repel them to kind of you know not come onto the the vegetables if y'all think the same thing put it down in the comments or if you don't just tell me exactly why or you know uh, what your opinion is on that but we're gonna get uh, putting this back on and then we're gonna actually start standing it up So we are pretty much done for now um, we didn't have like we said before enough to do the the top piece of the wire but we'll get that done that's no problem but we did have to change a little bit of the design and it was kind of my mistake and learn from my mistake if you're wanting to do this uh, keep this in consideration and I'll tell you exactly what I was doing I wanted to have five shelves the more shelves the better and so I had this six feet and I did my math and everything and they'd be about uh, maybe a foot or I think it was 10 and a half inches. And for some reason I just thought that's good. Good to go, right? Um, you don't need a whole lot of room, you know, to put vegetables. But the thing I didn't account for is this piece right here. So the reason why this piece is higher is because you have to get lower and get underneath it before it was only going to be about this high that's where the next one was going to be at the way i did my math all the way up with five uh shelves and when it's only this high it's really hard to get your hand back in there in the middle okay and so the reason why we did this so high we probably could have came down just a little bit more but that's not a big deal so now i can kind of come over here and i can get halfway here and come around the other side and get the other half but before i wouldn't have been able to get my hand halfway under there because it was so low you know I couldn't extend my arm all the way out and you know I have long arms Alex you know is smaller than I am and she wouldn't have been able to do that so this bottom one is higher so we can get all the way over and then the next one since we're up higher it can be a little shorter because now I can reach down and I can grab everything right here especially right here I can get all the way on top now I can't get everything right here so even we might have just get a little step ladder, but that's not going to be a big issue. We probably won't even fill this one. Just I made this for future. If we're going to be having a lot of crops later, I just wanted to have a big one where I wouldn't have to make another one. I just kind of wanted to do the work now. So hopefully we don't fill it all up right now. So 
so I have to make another one but that's pretty much gonna be it and you know I'm really liking how it turned out now I will say I'm probably gonna have to do a little bit of bracing because it does wobble a little bit so I'll probably just do a little bit of that so it really kind of locks it in where it's not so wobbly um, it's not bad but it's something that I just don't like I don't like the wobbliness so I will put a little bit of bracing on it but other than that it's pretty I mean it's done like I said the wire and then I really am liking this cedar on top of here I know I talked about it before um, I'm almost thinking about whenever we get some more kind of scrap pieces I'm gonna try to almost put it almost trim this out a little bit you know if I got some time because I really like the way this looks and having all of it kind of look like that I wish we could have milled it like I said but you know you got to do what you got to do but um leave in the comments though if you think that you know this may help keep the bugs you know out. I know it keeps bugs out cedar does but I don't know if just these little strips will kind of do that or not but if y'all you know think it will put it down in the comments I'd like to know what people think well that's going to wrap up today's video hope you liked it hit that like button any questions about what we did here what we used and you know you, if you got any advice on this cedar if it's going to really you think help a lot uh leave that in the comments subscribe to our channel and hit that bell for notifications that notifies you of new videos that we put out so uh guys take care and god bless